a teacher mm-hmm. but you know i got married and i got married and there is no any opportunity for me because i was living with my in-laws and they don't allow me to go out and work so i forgot about i left all these things i oh. hi good afternoon good afternoon and welcome to the session how are you yeah i'm doing great thanks for asking what about you that's lovely to know yeah i am also doing great thank you so much for asking how was your new year like what did you do on 1st january yeah, there is nothing special yeah. as usual because okay because of some problems so that's why nothing special ha ah, okay okay yeah it happens so sometimes are... hmm so as we are meeting for the very first time so i would love to know about yourself Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. I would love to introduce myself to you. As you know, my name is Rajni Verma. I'm from Shri Ganga Nagar, Rajasthan, and uh, I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU New Delhi. Nowadays, I am running a YouTube channel, and I provide paid sessions to beginners. As I consider myself an intermediate speaker of this language. In two thousand and twenty-four, I'm aspiring to become advanced speaker of this language. This is my b- b- first and biggest resolution, I can say. And uh, I talk to some random, you know, strangers too, in order to enhance my skills and in order to help them too. Yeah, that's all about me. If I talk about my habits, also like not habits, hobbies. Sorry, what is happening to me today? No worries. Yeah. <laughs> So if I talk about my hobbies, I love reading books nowadays, which is, I guess, very. I am prioritizing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because you are learning this language, so it is priority. Hmm. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Hmm. I would like to know about yourself too. Okay. So my name is Premlata. I am also from Rajasthan. Wow. Oh. I was born and brought up in Mumbai. Hmm. Yeah. and if i talk about my qualification i have done graduation in economics and my hobby is these days i'm just learning this language so i'm just i have cons- all focused on this language so this has become my hobby mm. I, i have two kids and i'm married i am a full time homemaker that's all about me okay so i would like to know that uh what did you do after you completing your qualifications did no, you apply somewhere married. did you do job no i got married and i'm i'm living with my husband with my in-laws okay it's been long time i'm again learning this language so that's all about That's it. Okay, that's okay. But uh, uh, you got married after your qualification. But uh, maybe you want. Uh, you must be wanted to do something. Did you want to do something like any job? You want to apply somewhere? No, I always wanted to be a teacher. Mm-hmm. But you know, I got married, and I got married, and there is no any opportunity for me because I was living with my in-laws, and they don't allow me. to go out and work so i forgot about i left all these things yeah but uh, learning this language has become very priority thing for me because mm-hmm. uh, one thing there uh, one thing that always in my mind that i have to be fluent in this language because i did my schooling and my college from hindi medium so first time when i came across with this language in my fifth class but there was no like a, a good teacher who can uh, who can teach us this language in a good manner good so man. yeah i lost the touch no problem uh, you will be able to improve as i can see right now you are already good at english especially in spoken yeah. i can say but i'm I also working yes. on my spoken skill especially spoken really? skill because only it's been more than 4 months i have been learning this language oh wow wow there is a great yeah. change i guess and i you must have started from you know basics to must be then beginner and you have started from the you know basic conversations right 
not facey you know this is my first conversation with you so that's why i'm asking mm -hmm. you that i uh, i should also have this conversation okay got i got it uh but i want to know like you mentioned that your uh, in laws didn't allow you to go out and do job so you should have tried you should should have you know raised your voice for yourself that no i no, want i can't to convince i did everything but uh, now it's my turn and i'm learning this language and i think this is going to be my weapon to convince yes them. it is yeah mm -hmm. so that's why so i just uh, focused totally focused so when did you complete your qualification and how long it's been that you are just totally in this household chores and uh, fully house maker homemaker it's been it's been long time actually it's been 13 years i have got married okay and i have i have two kids hmm both are studying hmm and grown up so that's why okay okay so for 13 years you just have forgot your dream that you want to be a teacher and then now so what you know inspired you again to just start now your journey like you left it 3 years ago but then you are working again on this dream that you want to be good at english so what inspired you earlier i was living with my in-laws and mm -hmm. before 2 years i got separated from them so okay. i already run a youtube channel that is different not related to english but okay. uh, these days i am just trying to learn this language so i have decided to create my own english youtube channel so mm -hmm. that's why i have engrossed myself into this language so you are not currently uploading videos conversational videos on your channel no 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 okay you are the first one you are the first person with whom i am having conversation oh wow yeah, okay that's oh, right it's my privilege that you have just you know decided to have first conversation with me for your youtube channel okay that's lovely okay okay so you already started but you mentioned that uh, you that is a little different that is not conversational one yeah that is different if i talk about my previous youtube channel that is different that is like designing clothing fabric okay. designing okay so do you do that too yeah i do that but because of some health issue i'm not working on my that channel for the last 6 months okay yeah so uh, where are you living in rajasthan may i know that too i'm basically yeah i'm bas uh, i'm from chittorgarh district not so. properly from chittorgarh but nearby village ha ah, chittorgarh i have heard but i never been to chittorgarh <laughs> okay uh so and what your kids uh, as you mentioned your kids are studying so how old are they my daughter is 11 years old and my son is 8 years old wow so are they in english medium school yeah both are studying in english medium okay so do they speak in english to you at home or with each other no they don't speak in english at home but uh, these days i'm just trying to create an environment so that they also can speak in english with me hmm great so you insist them to speak and have conversations yeah. in english so how they feel right. then when you insist them to talk in english sometimes they laugh but yeah they will also get into the habit mm. if i make uh, if i create an environment okay that's great that's great okay and uh, now as you mentioned that you want to be fluent in english so is there any particular reason behind it or you just want to see a confident a confidence in yourself and want to be fluent or you still aspire to become a teacher or just you want to create an environment for your kids no i want to be a teacher but not mm -hmm. like uh, going to not like uh, not like going to an school or like an private school and working there not i want to be a tutor okay and uh, like online tutor like tutors available on english shari and clapping yeah, or like 
That's and nice. I believe you will be the you will be the best, like the better one, because you are. Uh, I can feel the vibe that you are very calm, composed, and you have really a beautiful smile on your face. Like the personality, thank you. Is required already in you know those platforms and in a tutor is oh, I think the qualities are already there in you. I can see that. So all the very best for that, and this is great. I guess you should not, you know, always, uh, uh, you know, forget your dreams. You should always, when once you get the so, opportunity, you should go for that. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm just trying to follow my dream and my mm. my passion. That's why I'm here. Hmm. Okay. So I would like to know what do you do in a day? Like, how are you trying to improve English? Yeah, I do many things actually. Uh, but uh, more the first and foremost thing I do is listening. I just try to consume a lots of things, a lot of uh, English content because I want to instill my subconscious mind. And if uh, once my subconscious mind is filled with with this language, uh, my subconscious mind will push me to speak out. So these all things okay. I do, and apart from these, I watch YouTube videos, mostly conversation videos, and sometimes podcasts. And if I get some more time, then I watch grammar related video because you know to become a profit uh, to become a proficient speaker, grammar is really very important. Mandatory, yeah, I agree with your point. It is mandatory to know, and if you are aspiring to become a tutor, you should know every grammar pattern and yeah. once. The student is making a mistake in front of you. You should know the. Yeah, you yeah. have to correct yeah. that. We have to correct them. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. You should learn, and uh, you are, I guess, watching a lot of videos as you mentioned. So, are uh, do you read too on a regular basis? No, I just teach my kids. That time I read, other than not. Okay. Okay. So you help them in studies. Yeah. That's great. Great. Okay. Any question for me? Yeah, so I have so many. I have watched so many videos of you. So, you you are you were learning Korean language. Mm -hmm. So you are also working on that. So how did you how did you think of going with this language, like Korean language? It was I can say happened to me accidentally. I was not aware about this. I just got to know like there are some languages which you can learn and you can do your graduation in it. I just wanted to do something different. That's all. And accidentally, I got admission in Korean. <laughs> yeah, so I went for it. So you are also uh, learning this language, or you are you are giving pet session to beginner. So what are the things you are still doing to become a proficient speaker? Hmm. Great question. Uh, today in in around. Just, I guess, uh, an hour ago, I did a live session on my channel. And I share everything that, what are the resolutions I have taken. So now in 2024, I'm aspiring to become advanced one. So I have decided to take some, you know, baby steps and uh, work upon the, you know, things which I haven't done in 2023 or in the past years. Mm -hmm. uh, one is reading. I was skipping reading. Sometimes I was re reading continuously for seven days, and sometimes in between, I'm not. I was not consistent with the reading practice, which really, I guess, is a game changer. But still, if if you are not consistent, it can. Uh, you you may get a lot of challenges or hurdles in your way while speaking, which I have observed in the past year. So that is the one important. I guess I must say that habit. I want to. Be stick with. Yeah, I am going to work upon reading much more. Yeah. Hmm. Anything else? Now I have another mm -hmm. session at three thirty, and we will have next session tomorrow at eleven thirty. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then thank you so much for joining the session and have a great evening. It was really nice talking to you. Keep up the nice work you have. Thank you. Great, I guess, the superb attitude towards uh, this English language and I guess uh, being a tutor also, you are very good. Uh, you really gave really positive vibes to me. Thank you so much for joining the session. Bye-bye. Have a great so evening. Much. Bye.